I want to talk about what happened to me last year. Let's take a little walk. Now I have a little, a little business here. As you see, we, my, my friend Joseph's here is doing uh, a truck up. I have a little business. And what I do is I pick up garbage from people and I have a free store. And lots of times the garbage's good and I take it to the free store. And what's really junk, we sort and then we take it to the, to the dump and dump it. Well, last year, I lent my truck to a guy, Norman, who went with another guy, Steve. Norman had a driver's license, Steve did not. They went to the Krishnamurti School out in Langford, and they picked up a load of junk that was going to go to the free store. On the way back, they get stopped. Well, Norman, Steve's not allowed to drive because he doesn't have a driver's license. So they, Norman let him drive, and so they seized my truck and they put it in for a seven day impound. But because it was the second time that Steven had been caught, it goes to a 30 day impound. Now they take my truck and they give it to a guy. Come on in here again. They take my truck and they give it to a guy who says that we are not responsible for anything that is given to us. This is, this is West Shore towing. And, uh, and then they charge you $25 a day for your truck. So, you know, here's their sign right here. So, that, that's proudly displayed on their gate. So the police take my truck and give it to these guys. It's got my tools in it. It's got all my supplies in it. And, and all of a sudden, West Shore Towing has my truck. So they keep it for 30 days. I got a $1,000 bill. And then they call me up and they say, Oh, we have your truck. And I says, well, the guy who was driving it, like, I, I shouldn't have to be responsible for that bill. And it was an old truck, and I, I just, you know, couldn't afford $1,000. So they send me a registered letter. There's, there's, in order for them to seize my truck, they have to go through what's called the Warehouseman's Lean Act. Now, let's, let's walk around a little bit and uh, just, just take a walk, because it's boring if you just... You know, just straight talk. I mean, who gives a shit about all this information anyway? But it's important that you understand that the police took my truck. They give it to a private company who charges me an exorbitant fee, like $25 a day plus tax, everything. And they have my truck. They won't give me my tools back. And then after a month, they claim my truck. They got it now. I have to pay the bill. I can't afford to pay the bill. I don't want to pay the bill. And I'm thinking that this is wrong, what they're doing. And so they send me a registered letter, and which I refuse. I, I know what's in it. And it says, but anyway, under the Warehouseman's Lean Act, there's a certain amount of steps that they have to go through in order to seize my truck. They don't go through any of the steps. The only thing they do is send me a registered letter, which I refuse. And then right away, in the registered letter, it said I had 10 days to respond to this uh, seizure, this notice, or they would have to put notices in the paper and then auction my truck off. Well, when I refuse the letter, they say, OK, we're just going to take your truck and then they sell it to the scrapyard. It's still insured, and I, I, I says, you, you had no right to do that. So I filed a charge of theft with the police. And actually, let's walk around. This is where it gets interesting, because the police are supposed to carry out the law. Now, the law states what you're supposed to do when this happens. And it's clearly laid down. They take my tools, they take my truck, and then they just say, F you. We're, and so then the police, they refuse to act, and so I lay what's called the private information. Now, the private information is, if you don't agree with what the police do, you can say, well, I'm going to lay my own charges. So I, I lay my own charges, and, and then, so I'm supposed to go before a judge. This is what I think. So I go before a judge of January of this year. I take my friend with me. And it's a remand. They, they remanded me. So they give me another date. So 
I go again before a judge. I show up in court thinking I'm going to get a hearing. Again, they remand me. So my friend says, they're just trying to wear you out. They're trying to make it so that you're not going to show up in court. And then they're going to say, oh, you didn't show up in court, case dismissed. Well, I've gone to court twice. So they give me a third day. So I go to court the third time. And then they say to me, well, the Crown has issued a stay of proceedings, case dismissed. That's it. So this towing company seizes my truck, seizes my tools, and the police refuse to obey the law. It's ridiculous. Like this is, like we're getting to a state where the law is unlawful. And Judgment Day News, David Shabib and Jonathan LeDrew, and we're gonna try and cut through some of this crap that is filling our society with illegal, immoral, and unjust actions. Stay tuned. We'll talk with you later. Thank you.